Hi everyone, it's Yua here, and in today's video, we're going to go over the new Persona Cosmetics Color Theory. This is the Copper Kit, so if you guys would like to see me unbag it and try it on and give you guys my first impressions, then please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright guys, so to get started, Persona Cosmetics came out with two different color like kits for the holidays they came out with the copper kit which is obviously the one i have they also came out with like a pink kit which is obviously more pinks and berry tones the whole point of these like color i what what are they called these color theory eye kits is that it's supposed to be complementary to the shades of your eyes so i believe that for the bulk both of the kits they are both complementary for brown eyes but this one's also complementary for blue eyes and the pink eye um, is more i believe like more hazel and brown so i really like that so if you aren't sure like what color like tones you should use i like that it even has it back here where it tells you for ideal for brown and blue eyes so let's just open it up so like I said first of all the packaging comes in this bag and it already tells you this is the color theory eye kit in copper oh and this does retail for $38 so both of the kits retail for $38 each and each kit comes with a eyeshadow palette this one is the copper one obviously very very sleek and very easy to kind of pick out the tone so here you have the copper kit eyeshadow palette and this comes with five different colored eyeshadows it comes with this one is called off-white but it actually looks like a champagne -y shade on camera it looks white but it's a champagne shade and this one's actually shimmer and this one's called a light brown which obviously is very suiting for the eyeshadow this is a matte this one's called copper because obviously it's more of that coppery rich toned eyeshadow and this one's brick this one's matte and then there's dark brown and that one's also a matte so there's a total of three mattes and two shimmers which I think is actually perfect I actually really like these small eyeshadow palettes if you want a very go-to look and you don't really want to think about how to create a look and it also comes with a mirror in here as well also in the kit comes with a pencil eyeliner and in the copper kit comes with brown so lastly in the kit comes with a blending brush so I'm gonna start off with the copper palette I'm gonna go into light brown with the persona brush that came with it and I'm just gonna use this as my transition and I'm just gonna pat it down first wherever I want it oh it's very soft this blending brush is really really soft and then I'm just going to blend it out I'm going to go ahead and pick up a brick, that warm, ready tone, and I'm going to just pick that up with the same brush. And I'm going to focus this on my outer corners. Whoa, look at that pigment. Super pigmented. I'm going to have to share on both sides. Whoa, it's still super pigmented. All right. These shadows are super pigmented. Definitely go in with the light hand if you... <laughs> Are kind of like not as a daredevil because I'm definitely more on the safety side too like cautious side where I like to kind of build up having a little bit too much pigment can scare me sometimes definitely much easier to build up and I'm just gonna go ahead and just blend that up with the light brown shade okay so with my Luxie 231 small taper blending brush I'm going with the smaller taper blending brush I'm gonna pick up this dark brown shade right here it's matte as well and I'm gonna focus that on my outer corners I'm just really focusing and building that up oh my gosh do you see how pigmented these shadows are I literally have to share the shadow with both eyes Alright, and then with the same brush, I'm going to go back into light brown and I'm going to put on my entire lower lash line. Then I'm going to just mix brick and dark side together and I'm just going to smoke my lower lash line with the two shades mixed. And then finally we're moving on to the shimmers. So excited! I really like this copper shade. 
I'm going to try with a brush first just because I typically like to try to see how it works with the dry brush first and then I'll go in with my finger. So I'm going to go into this shade called Copper. So fitting. I love how the names are so simple but they're so fitting for the shades. Like they're perfect. And then I'm just going to place that right where I don't have any shadow. So right there. Just right on the lid. So it looks like it is performing like okay. Just with the dry brush. So here is the copper eyeshadow right there on my lid with just a dry brush. I think it performed really well. I did have to go over two or three times to kind of build up that shade. But I still think that it was very creamy on the eyes and it did build up really well. You can tell it's really pigmented. Now with the other eye, I actually want to go in with my finger just to see if there is like a difference. Like even with my finger, it's so creamy. It really just glided on my finger so easily. So I'm just going to try this with my finger. Oh yeah. Whoa. But look at that pigment. And I did not have to go in back into the shadow with my finger. Like that's incredible. That's insane. Okay, I want to go back into just that dark brown shade right here just a little bit to kind of deepen out that um, kind of that shade, that copper shade that I just placed down. Kind of define it just a little bit around. I love it. All right. And obviously the last shade in the palette that I did not use yet is Off-White. This one is actually like a champagne shimmer shade which I think is perfect for like inner corner highlight or if you want to do like that spotlight right in the center of your eyes. And I'm going to use uh, my Lexi 141 mini round brush and I'm actually going to pick up that shade Off-White and I'm going to place that as my inner corner highlight. Like that's just with the dry brush too. Like these shadows are super pigmented. Next in the kit we have the Persona 24 hour waterproof eye pencil and this is in brown. So with pencil eyeliners I feel like they're better for like smudging out. They're not that great for like creating a winged eyeliner although you can. It's just not as precise. But I'm going to go ahead and use this today to create my eyeliner. So just to go back to the Persona Color Theory Eye Kit in Copper, first of all I love this palette. I love that although it's so simple, only 5 eyeshadows, every single eyeshadow worked. I did not have any problem with any of these shadows and especially if you only are purchasing a palette for 5 shadows, every single shadow should work. There should be no dud or bad eyeshadow. So I love it. Very blendable, very creamy. So especially this copper shimmer shader here, it was so creamy, it applied great even on a dried brush. So I loved everything about it. I think it's a really, really good, very complimentary like colors and I just love the palette. Very good. And then moving on to the brush. So I love this brush. It's so, I love it because it's thick and fluffy but it's not super like long and flimsy. It is really good for like more of a diffused like bigger fluffy brush but it's also stiff so you can still also get that precision if you want that and I love the um, just the bristles it's very soft lastly with the kit it came with the pencil eyeliner in the shade brown like I said it looks it says it's brown but I would say it's more of like a brown black where it's even leaning more black I do like it I think that it has a really good quality it glides on very easily and I even tried like when I was swatching it on my finger um, I even tried like cleaning it up with some makeup remover. I truly do believe that it is going to be really hard to take it off. I used some liquid <laughs> makeup remover and it was really hard to come off. So I truly think that this is really going to be the 24 hour stay. I don't know if it's going to last for 24 hours but it really is going to stay in place. Alright guys, so that's it for my video today. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do hit that notification bell to be notified each and every time I do upload a new video. Other than that guys, have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!